Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome into my wardrobe. Today we are doing my wardrobe switchover from spring and summer to autumn and winter. I've been wanting to film this video for so many weeks now but I keep having to push it back because the weather hasn't been autumnal enough, it's still been quite hot. But now that we are finally having some autumnal weather, I'm ready to do my wardrobe switchover. It essentially means removing a lot of dresses. I feel like my wardrobe is just full of dresses for spring and summer. So removing a lot of dresses, putting them back into storage and bringing out knitwear. I'm so excited to bring out my knitwear collection, I cannot tell you. So let's get started with my wardrobe switchover. As always, starting these videos is the most daunting part because it just requires a lot of mess, a lot of hard work, but we will get there. So we'll start off with this section where admittedly, I think a lot of this will actually stay the same. I just have some of like these more knit pieces that I did leave out last time I did my switch over from autumn and winter into spring and summer. I kept out a few like thicker knits just because it wasn't quite spring summer weather when I did my switch over. So that's staying. And then again, these shirts, these shirts just typically all tend to stay out. I do have a couple of linen options, which I am tempted to maybe put away into storage, but it depends how I go space wise. I think they don't take up that much space in the wardrobe, but equally they won't take up that much space in my storage box. So we'll see how I get on with that. Here I have trousers, faux leather leggings, and then skirts. Again, most of these are going to just stay in here because I'm not changing much. And now we get on to the dresses. Now quite a lot of my dresses are going to go because I have a lot. Once all colour has been ejected from the wardrobe, I can't believe it, that was obviously unintentional, but I guess I just incorporate colour so much more into my style and my clothing for spring and summer. I had loads of pink dresses, lots more colour, and now I'm left with a very dark looking wardrobe, but what can you do? I guess for spring and summer, I just gravitate towards cooler toned colours and just darker colours, I guess. So the dresses have been removed. I kid you not, there are so many dresses that I got rid of. I mean, you saw it was like a never ending row of dresses in here, kind of crazy. But now they're all done. This is pretty much what is going to stay in this section of my wardrobe. I'm going to go into my storage box next and see what I have to put in. I really don't think there will be too much. I mean, I may have a few jumper dresses and things like that to add into here, but generally speaking, this side, my rail, does the most work throughout spring and summer because that's when I typically wear the most dresses. And come autumn and winter, it does tend to be a little less full. Obviously, it's still looking pretty full now but you know what I mean a lot of dresses came out of here now going into the wardrobe I have one lone shirt I feel like this would have been such a random thing for me to declutter just a single shirt don't think it would have taken up that much space but here we go back in its place um that's just gonna stay there and then quite excitingly I have two of this style of cardigan these are so popular this season we are seeing them a lot a lot of people are loving wearing and styling them and I knew I had a couple that I'd worn previously so very happy to have found them within my storage box these are going to stay in here I have a few pinafore style dresses as well these I think are always nice to layer in the 
autumn winter i just think they make your outfits like a little more interesting i guess so these are coming back in then we have the jumper dresses i do love my jumper dresses i just think they are so nice to wear throughout the winter i have a gray this is one of my all-time favorites a like white or cream colored cable knit this gorgeous purple one which i missed so much i think next time i do my switch over i'll leave this one out because it's kind of like a light knit which is nice for like transitional seasons and then a black cutout one which is a very cool one for like party season i'd say so all of these are going back into the wardrobe and then this is also a jumper dress but a mini length jumper dress say hello to the sequins oh my gosh bringing out my sequin pieces is just one of my favorite things it may seem a little bit early considering party season isn't quite here yet but i always keep these in my storage and always bring them out when i do my autumn and winter switch over because these are just my party sequins i oh, love them Okay, so that's the collection. I'm going to put in my sequin, not all sequin, but like my party season shirts in first. And you know what I'm thinking? I've never sort of like arranged it in this way, but I think I might put all my sequin pieces together. Usually I will just slot them in in whichever section they sort of fit in in my wardrobe, but I think this year it just kind of makes sense for me to keep all sequins pieces together actually because I, I don't think I've mentioned this in today's video, but basically how I sort of organize this is coats or like cardigans here, thin strap tops here, shirts, then we go into trousers, skirts, short dresses with long sleeves, short dresses and short sleeves, short dresses and sleeveless, and then the opposite. So starting from strappy sleeves, but midi dresses into short sleeved midi dresses and then long sleeved midi dresses. So that's kind of how I like to order it here. But with wanting to put all my sequined pieces together, I need to kind of work out where they're all going to slot in seamlessly. So I've put all the sequins in this section here, but they are kind of hidden away. It works for now because obviously I'm not going to be wearing sequins throughout October, but um, I don't know. I don't know if they're just a little bit too hidden. But anyway, this is what we are left with. I don't think there's anything else for me to add into the rail section. So this section is pretty much complete. I will quickly talk through this here, but Honestly, I don't see me changing anything. I have just a standard cap here and my straw hat, which I know doesn't really make sense to keep my straw hat out in my like autumn winter wardrobe. But if I put it into storage, it's going to get all squished. It's not taking up any space being hung up here. So that's going to stay. I do have quite a lot of belts that I am very tempted to do some clearing out of. I mean, this one, this is a very thick belt and it's like quite cool but the sizing is just not quite right so I think I'm going to get rid of it and then that gives me a bit more space for some of my other belts that are constantly falling down that was a very quick fix but all done now so top is done just below in this section here is where I keep my handbags I'm going to have quite a lot of like straw bags that are ready to go into storage. Will I film that? Uh, yeah, why not? Further down into my wardrobe, this is where I store my bags. So this is why I like to keep short items on this side because it gives me much more access to this shelf here. Whereas when my skirts start to get, my dresses, I mean, start to get longer, there's obviously not so much room to access things as easily. So these are my bags at the moment and whilst I don't think I'm going to do any sort of declutter 
of bags per se i do have a lot of basket bags in here basket bags are probably one of my favorite things about spring and summer i think in autumn and winter i get really excited about all the knitwear the jumpers and the sequins the party pieces but for spring and summer basket bags i would say are my holy grail my favorite thing about the season but they can all go now because i won't be using them throughout autumn and winter So first up, a bag of bags. This is where I keep the majority of my clutch bags. I do think most of these are going to stay though. I'm just gonna sort it out a little bit better so that I can fit in a couple of others that I had been using and didn't put away properly. This is a note to self, put everything away properly once you're done with it. But this just has like slightly smaller bags. Obviously it's just a matter of space saving, I suppose. So these can go to the back and then this is straw bag so storage it goes another basket bag into storage this is my kate spade bag i do actually really like this one and i get a lot of use out of it come this time of year because it's just a nice like smart black bag so i'm going to keep that it's not my most used though so it does usually sort of live there at the back these are some other slightly smaller bags this is my white aspinall bag which i love this is my radley bag again i love you've probably seen it time and time again this is my johnny loves rosie like moon bag obsessed with this bag one of my favorites but i'm going to keep it closer to the top this is a new bag actually which i'm sure you will see a lot of come party season my everyday black bag i feel like i'm saying this and i'm not showing you them but it's just if i were to show you them all it would be really long that's a red bag these again loads of this is like basket bag inception so i have my marge basket bag then my mns one inside and then a couple of other ones inside that this is the best way to keep bags especially if you're short on space another bag i do try to keep my bags in like dust bags they're not like fancy bags or expensive bags or anything like that but i just think they keep a little bit better when they are stored away in dust bags this one i love it's like a raffia style bag but again a summer bag so that can go into storage ultimately this is kind of just like playing a game of tetris and trying to make everything fit where it probably wouldn't really fit but we get there it doesn't look the most aesthetically pleasing but realistically who's going to look at this apart from you now as i'm pointing my camera towards it but it's just a little bit of reality you know not everything is like open shelves and designer bags and all that sort of stuff like sometimes it's crammed into the bottom of your wardrobe because that's just the space that's the basket bags out and it's just looking a lot neater on to the good stuff now and the knitwear collection so this has definitely grown since i did my spring and summer switch over not that i've got that many new pieces i think there may be like two or three newer knits in here but i need to give this a sort through because it's obviously looking very full already I've moved my shelf down, giving me ample storage space for knitwear. The favourite stripes. Gosh, I love a stripes jumper, as you can probably tell. So these are the knits that were in my wardrobe already. Time to bring out some from storage and start adding them in as well. Fingers crossed they all fit. knitwear shelf is now full as you can tell literally full to the brim i've had to keep these two out here to the front which is actually how i kept it last autumn and winter as well like my most worn knits i sort of folded into thirds and had them on the front section here not the best but it's what i can do with limited space i am decluttering four knitwear pieces the first is this jumper which has like these 
kind of like 3D dots on it. It's not really my kind of thing. So that's gonna go. Then I have possibly the chunkiest, like a navy cable knit style jumper. It's a high neck as well, which I do love, but it's just very long line and that's not really my kind of thing. So I think this one's gonna go. I'm actually gonna put it in a maybe pile because the fact that it's long line was what kind of threw me off it. But now I'm thinking I don't have any other. So then what if I want a long line knit and I get rid of it? So we'll see. Then I have this one from New Look, which I love. I've always loved, but I haven't worn it in years and years and years and years and years. I just don't get rid of it because I love it, but equally I don't wear it. So do I really love it that much if I never wear it? I don't know. And then finally, just like this white fluffy knit style of jumper. It's an oldie, don't really reach for it. So decluttering. Brought you down to the three shelves that are under my knitwear. So knitwear is this one up here. Here I have just a mix. I've got trousers, short sleeve tops and like vest tops, that kind of thing. And then behind there I have t-shirts. Here I have jeans, which jeans is gonna stay as is because I've not added to the collection and I decluttered this. I think it was in my last wardrobe switchover. So autumn into springtime. So I'm, I'm happy with them. So that's staying as is. And then here at the bottom, I have shorts and skirts. So I need to do some playing around because I have like my cashmere tops and things, which I'm going to need to fit in here in this section, I think. So as usual, first step is to remove. So firstly, I'm going to put up my roll neck tops. I really didn't wear my roll neck tops a lot last year. It was kind of crazy because usually they're like, my favorite thing about autumn and winter, but last season I didn't really reach for them. So let's see how they fare this season, but I'm going to slot them like that at the back, I think. And as I said, some cashmere tops as well, which I'm gonna do the same thing, just gonna pop them on top as these aren't necessarily items that I'm going to reach for right now because the weather isn't quite cold enough for like cashmere and roll necks, but it will be soon. So keeping these easy and ready to reach. Next up, some more like long sleeve kind of tops. Again, work as like base layers or just light long sleeve layering pieces. So I'm gonna keep these slightly closer to the front because obviously a bit more easy access for the winter. I've got small like racer back tops and things like that, but I don't think those are going to go back in here just because I can't see myself really reaching for them that much throughout autumn and winter. They're not particularly layering pieces because they're so high up on the neckline. So I think the majority of those I'm going to move away into storage, just basically keeping a few of the like essentials and like basics really. I have so many t-shirts and I just don't want to keep that many t-shirts out. I just don't think I will use that many t-shirts. I find it really difficult to know where to store my bodysuits because I feel like they'd be great hung up, but I don't really have the space to hang them up. So just gonna go for this, gonna keep them separated though. So these are like basically bodysuits and like nicer tops basically, just so that they have their own little dedicated section. Denim will stay as is. So moving down into this miscellaneous section where I've got shorts and skirts. On the shelf above, I had kept all of my trousers, which I'm loving. And I think I'm still really going to love them throughout autumn and winter. So they are more like my kind of like casual wide leg trousers. So they don't necessarily need to be hung up in my um, like rail section on a trouser hanger. On those hangers, I keep like my leggings because sometimes the color passes or like transfers if you have them folded up on top of like denim or other colors basically so i try to avoid that by hanging those up and then also my smart trousers i have hung up as well because usually they are either like pleated or something like that and they just need to be on a hanger so that they sort of keep their shape and their structure but trousers like these i have pretty much lived with them folded all summer and they've done quite well i'm going to keep the majority of them out bar these three pairs because as you can tell, they are definitely lighter and a bit more spring and summer appropriate. I might keep out this light pair though because I'm feeling like a neutral outfit. I feel like these could really work, but essentially they're just like black gray trousers. I don't know, they're kind of really boring to be honest with you, but I've just been loving them. I've been reaching for them so much, particularly in this like 
transitional period where it's been still quite warm so i'll wear this with like a t-shirt or something like that and it's just a nice like easy throw on outfit and i'm really loving that at the moment so i'm gonna split everything up into what i want to keep out and what i will put away into storage like for instance a skirt like this i don't need to keep that out throughout the whole of winter that can go into storage but then little black skirts and things i do quite like them for the autumn so it's just a case of splitting up again a denim skirt probably can go into my storage basket same with these ones although i do quite like this one i don't wear this skirt enough i think it may be a case of decluttering i have this green one which again probably will declutter i don't wear it that much but yeah just gonna go through everything see what i want to keep for the season and what i don't want to keep shorts can go these are faux leather so i will probably keep these out but lots of like black shorts and things they can go white shorts storage denim shorts cohorts and then i have well i guess this another black skirt can stay these are more like wintry kind of shorts so i will keep them out same goes with this pair so that's three pairs of shorts and then from my storage basket i have these three skirts that i want to add in so Let's see. So here's where we stand. Way fewer skirts and fewer shorts as well. Only four pairs of shorts. I did say I don't typically wear them, but these are all just kind of wintry. So I feel like they have their place in my wardrobe and I'm going to fit the trousers on top of my shorts section. So that stays like this. Still very easy for me to access. I do have these, which are more of like a sweat shirt, a sweat shirt, like a joggers kind of thing, which I'm going to keep at the bottom with my loungewear. Down here is where I keep my loungewear. Won't show you that. It's fairly boring but here I keep like jumpers loungewear and also leggings sports sets that kind of thing but I think that's it finished off in record timing I have to say I think I did this clear out so quickly this year I can't quite believe it usually it takes me all day to film one of these but I think it's been about three to four hours which is still a relatively long amount of time and I do still have clothes all around me to put away into my storage box but still quite good going so I'll give you a tour of how the wardrobe is looking now so you can see exactly the work that I've done I'll start off where I left you this is how the knitwear is looking clearly very much filled to the brim and also very similar in colors I clearly don't vary too much on my knitwear selection but that is looking good the second shelf is looking pretty crowded actually this usually doesn't have a lot but this year it is filled to the brim so like I said on this section here I kept my bodysuits and then in this section we have a front layer and a back layer so towards the back I put my roll neck tops and my cashmere tops because I most likely won't be wearing them until a couple of months hopefully so at the front I've got long sleeve tops short sleeve tops and then just a couple of vest tops that I can still wear these few days but eventually what I will do is swap them around so I'll have the roll next to the front and these tops and t-shirts will move to the back so I'll just swap them and that should work out okay jeans I haven't touched because like I said I did a clear out the last time I did a switch over and I've not added or removed since so happy with how they stand and as you can see there's still some space in here so I didn't feel like that was pressing from there we move down to skirts shorts and trousers which now have a new space to themselves admittedly i could probably put my trousers up here with the denim but i quite like keeping them separate actually just because they have a space of their own but that's worked out quite well there and then at the bottom i mean i'll show you but it's just loungewear basically here i have a bunch of jumpers and things joggers towards the back i've got more like loungewear and then here i have like my gym gear so leggings and that sort of thing but nothing too exciting so that's how this section is looking I'm quite happy with it to be honest with you I feel like given the space and the sheer amount of stuff I've done a fairly good job at keeping that all organized and here's how the hanging rail is looking. I think it's looking nice and neat and tidy. Gosh, I've only just realized how much that is bowing right now. One day that is going to break, but until then. So here we have 
dresses, starting with midi lengths, long sleeves, short sleeves, and then sleeveless, and then the same from here, sleeveless mini dresses, short sleeves, and long sleeved mini dresses. Then we go into the shirts, got a couple of cardigans there as well, and then the party sequin pieces I've filtered in to the corner over there. So this is how it's looking. We go down into the wardrobe and this is where it gets interesting. This is where I keep all my bags and things in this section here, hence why I have the shorter items on that side longer to the left. And then at the bottom, I didn't go through this or show you this, but I just have a few pull-out drawers, which are essentially where I keep like underwear and things like that. So they are neatly tucked away in there and that's how the wardrobe's looking. I quickly mentioned this, but basically just a couple of hats there. And then my belts live here as well. And there you have it, another wardrobe switchover completed, another switchover ticked off the box. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Do subscribe for autumnal content and autumn outfits coming your way now that my wardrobe switchover is completed. We can finally start really getting into the swing of autumn outfits. So do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and I hope to see you all next week in my next video. Bye.